Hi, hi. Welcome to my video. I'm going to go through how to create one image by two images merged together. The way that I'm doing this is by using the Inkscape program. Inkscape is a free program to download. Once you've got it downloaded, what you'll want to do is you'll want to choose two images. I've chosen a dictionary page and an image that has flowers. So I'll go ahead and start. I've opened up my Inkscape. I'm going to go over here to File and I'm going to Import. I'm not going to open, I'm going to import my first image, which is the dictionary page. All right, I'm just going to resize that a little bit, make it easier. All right, so this is my first image. I placed it on my canvas. This is what I call my canvas. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create layers. And layers help us to merge the two images together to create one. So if I go up here, and I just go to the very first option, it shows that I have one layer present. So what I want to do, I want to go back up to layers and I'm going to add a layer. It's the second option and a dialog box will come up and it'll say, do you want to add layer number two? And do you want to put it above the current, below the current, or a sub layer of the current. For this process, we're going to put it above the current and we'll name it flowers. So now we've added a second layer. This is layer one and this is layer two. And the way how you can tell, and I'll explain that in a moment, on which layer you're on, once I get two images on the canvas, it'll show you. So now it's time to go to um, my images and choose my second. So again, I'm going to go to File, Import. And this time, I'm going to choose my flowers. And Inkscape brings it in. So if you see these black arrows around the flowers, it's indicating to me that that's the layer that I'm on. I'm on layer two flowers and if I want to somehow change the background say I don't want dictionary I want something else all I have to do is make sure that I'm on the correct layer delete and it will then delete that particular part that I wanted out. So let's say instead, eh, let's just keep this simple. So I want to undo that. Here it's back. So now what I want to do, I like the look of this. Maybe I want my flowers to be over to this side. I want them a little bit bigger. But I want to be able to see the type underneath the flowers. So I'm going to go over here. I'm on my flowers layer. I'm going to go to filters. I'm going to go down to fill and transparency and choose the opacity option. This dialog box will come up. Now I've already done quite a bit of uh, creating opaque images so that's why it comes up with um, that's what I've done on a previous image. So I do want to choose this box right here. It says Live Preview. And that allows the user to see what you have created, I'm sorry, what you have chosen here without actually affecting the layer. So say I want to see more of the flowers or less of the flowers. It shows you a live 
preview of what you're choosing. So let's say I want them more opaque. And you can kind of play around with these to see how they change the image. Sure, now it's not going to come back. Sometimes this happens in Inkscape. So let's just see what combination allows that to come back. Here it's coming back. I'm going to get rid of some of my erosion. Oh, maybe I need my erosion. Okay, there it is. So it's at a level here where I like it. I kind of want a little bit more opaque. But I want my flowers. Oh, so I'm still on this dialog. I want to hit apply. That means all the changes that I made now have affected the image itself. So I want to go back and I want to make my flowers much bigger because now I can see the type in the background and I want to center it. Okay, so my image is ready and what I have done is I've created one image by importing two separate images, putting them on layers, and now I'm going to take them out of Inkscape. Go up here to File, and now you're going to Export. And you'll see over here, let me just readjust my camera a little bit there. You're going to see over here, let me get rid of this. I'm going to tell Inkscape that I want to export this document. So the first thing I have to do is I have to tell it where I want it to place the new image. I want to put it in my opaque file so that I know where to find it when I go back later. So I hit OK. If I go into my file I go to look for my image and it's not there. I'll tell you why. Because by choosing this I'm only telling Inkscape where to place my new image. It's going to, inc it's going to include it on the desktop in the opaque file and it's going to, I want to name it flower type. So now I've told it basically, should have done that first. But the only thing that I've done there is I've told Inkscape where I want the image. I actually have to go down, it's about an inch below the export as, and I have to go and I actually have to hit export. A dialog box will come up letting me know that export is in progress. Once it's finished, I go back to my file and there is my document. Not my document, I'm sorry, my image. I'm going to do one more example just to kind of go through the steps. It's back over here. I'm going to import, this time I'm going to import some sheet music. We just finished up the holidays. Here's my sheet music. All right. So I want to impose an angel onto my sheet music. Now I like the way that she looks, but I'm not entirely f happy with her size. So I'm going to make her a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to down to, let me just fill in transparency, opacity. I'm going to hit live preview. And she is now semi-opaque. But let's say I want to see her 
just a bit more. There she is. Okay, I'm going to hit apply. I'm all done with that. <clears throat> Now, as you can see, I click off. I click off my separate layers, and just because that I've just done that by practice. Now I'm going to export my document. Sorry, I keep calling it a document. It's an image. So I'm going to go over here. I want to make sure that you can see that. I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to tell it where I want my file to be. I want it PC, Desktop, Opaque, and I want to name it Angel. Music. Angel Music. Go over here and hit Save. I've only told Inkscape where I want it to go, and I have to go down about an inch to the actual button that says Export, and choose that. My dialog box comes up, says that it's completed, so now I come in here, and there is my angel on my sheet music. So if you have any questions on how to do the creation of these images, or if you have questions about what type of images to um, go and look for um, that will best pull into Inkscape, or if you even need help downloading Inkscape, feel free to send me a message on Facebook. Um, otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed my video, and I hope that it helps you create something new for your junk journals.